Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at what the Donning brought. And uh, it's no surprise, I'm probably going to have the title of this video be super flamboyant. Uh, just to piss some people off, even though it's technically actually really true. Like, there's no, like, I'm not saying anything false. So, with that said, let's get on. So, bottom here, we're going to have... Uh, shader and some stuff that i personally don't really care a fuck about and at the bright dust section we also have stuff that i personally don't care but i have i hold it i make it no secret that i don't give a shit about this event honestly uh did not know that I didn't get that so i'm obviously scooping that up you can get the polar vortex right now which is cool if you like that you can get the glad tidings which i think you got free last time because i definitely didn't buy that uh, the Emberwick uh, shell, which I can see people using a lot because it is cool, but whatever. And then to get that bread, which I personally, oof, I do not give a fuck about. And then the dance, and then this, um, I don't really care, uh, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Then we get to the actual event. So the video that I'm probably going to call, or the name of the video is probably going to be like, a total of all of these armors prices together so it's like what is it uh sixty dollars for one character for all of the armor which is accurate if you are a new player or a player that doesn't have bright dust then if you wanted to buy all of these it would cost you sixty dollars just for two or no sixty lot sixty dollars for all of these now granted a lot i know people would say oh there's bright dust you can buy for bright dust oh, yeah yeah it's cool until you realize all of these are probably gonna cost me almost as much as I have now. So if I wanted to buy like all of them, all, actually a perfect example, my Warlock has none of them, none of these at all. If I wanted to buy all of them for my Warlock, it would cost as much as the as much Bright Dust as I have on me right now, currently. Uh, so that's a horrible take to have, like, oh, just buy them with Bright Dust, considering A, you have to have a lot of Bright Dust, B, they literally fucking nerfed our way to get bright dust not too long ago so you're not only gaining less but it's dude you're gaining half of what you used to get so good luck trying to get all of this armor if you want to get it and i know a lot of people are going to tell me oh but what about the what about the repeatable bounties these right here you can get bright dust for just making gifts now you don't even have to uh give them to the to the, to the person that you're making it for. You just have to bake them, which on one hand, I will say that is way better. At this point, you can actually just go to the tower, be in front of Eva, and then let's say you just play a fuck ton of Crucible or a fuck ton of just whatever, insert activity here. You could potentially just destroy a bunch of time just making a bunch of fucking cookies so you, that you can get Bright Dust. So, Essentially, you'll be able to what, what is it? You can get five of the repeatables. That's 50 bright dust per completion <clears throat> And honestly once you actually compete you once you masterwork the oven, it's actually not that crazy to, uh, Price points that they, they're asking usually it's like one of each of the of these right here I don't even have the recipes anymore, so I can't even show you but once you complete the recipes, then it just shows you this screen. And these aren't even outlandish. Like, Essence of Dawning, you only need 10. Which, again, if you've done a fuck ton of activities, 10 is nothing. Uh, the only thing that's really annoying is the fact that some of these are annoying to make. Like, Taken Butter, like, any, any of the enemy ones are going to be annoying. But I'll probably do a full guide of that later. Mostly because I know a lot of people are going to want to do that because you you're most likely looking at 50 bright dust per maybe minute depending how fast you get at it which is not bad at all it's just that remember that uh repeatables are gonna cost glimmer as well but i'll make that video um more extensively just to help people out because i know people are gonna want to do that a lot so yeah this is it um hunters looks really cool i like it a lot we're gonna look at all the classes obviously but this is definitely one of my favorites for the hunter and i don't i'm probably not gonna get it just because i i don't want to mm, maybe my hunter i'm probably gonna get everything for my hunter and then for my titan and warlock i'll probably just 
wait for next year and then the year after that even though at that point i'm probably gonna have to save up an extra the six thousand just for my hunter um but it's just unfortunate like i play all my classes and i know people are like well why are you bitching about armor it's like because armor is like one of the things that really changes the game for me in a really real real way like all of this armor i will be able to utilize in some way like if I'm trying to like make a different look for my hunter or my titan or my warlock, I will definitely dip into some of these and be like, all right, maybe I can use the helmets for something really cool. Like that looks really fucking cool. Or like the cloak, you know, this looks fucking, that looks really cool. Or let's say, this is a great example. I actually don't like this armor set particularly. I think it's really boring. But I really like the helmet because it doesn't, like, I can use it for pretty much anything because it's very neutral. Or the cloak, I think the cloak is pretty cool as well. And honestly, I would definitely, I would definitely wear this. It, like, I'm coming from a, any piece of the armor I can utilize to the best of my abilities. And it's unfortunate that this is not part of the game. Like, how, how cool would it be that... They give us a really long quest line that you unlock each of these pieces. I would be I would be super down with that. Or let's say you want to buy you you just want to buy it just because you want to support Bungie. That's not a bad thing, but I think it would be really cool if you could still do that quest step and you get the same amount of bright dust for doing that. I think that would be really fucking cool. Like adding this in the game would be dope as fuck. So. I yeah that's enough about armor let's look at some of the stuff here's happy trails which I'm a little I'm a little peeved we can't get that because it looks really cool but I don't whatever then the perfect 10 which is cool and then we get skins which is also pretty dope I do like this skin a lot but I don't care enough to buy it even if it came out for bright dust same thing for this one I I think it looks cool like I would never use it but it looks cool and then uh stuff here i'm not gonna do because i just don't care i will do this one though this one looks pretty cool and i definitely want it but how much do i want it is the is the thing like, I, I don't know i just don't know and that's pretty much it i would probably get this one because i did regret not getting this considering it stays forever so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm going to be doing videos for the dawning. Uh, probably not a guide of like, well, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys currently liking the dawning? It is, it's literally the first day, but I'm pretty much done. I'm just waiting for the community to do the share the dawning spirit because I can only do so much. And I still need to do this one as well, which this is literally more of a marathon than a race, really so let me know in the comments below i definitely will do the bright dust thing because 50 bright dust per per minute if you get really fast at it seems like a really fucking crazy thing so it'll definitely help out people that don't have bright dust you might never know this this method might be so good that you might be able to just buy all that bright or all that armor i highly fucking doubt it considering you need six six thousand but you might never know. Might be might be better alternative than just just to do weeklies and shit. So let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys later. Be safe.